Hey, you want to become a testing millionaire? Are you using GitHub Actions? Looking for a good read on testing? Need tips on testing leadership? What skills do you need to work with some of the biggest companies like TikTok or Apple? Discover the answer to these questions and much more on this jam-packed episode of the Test Guild News Show for the week of August 22nd. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. First up in automation news. Sauce Labs partnering with a company called Savix. And the reason why I bring it up is because I learned about another acquisition that I, I missed earlier that I didn't know about. Well, the actual news article is that Savix Technology announced a strategic partnership with Sauce Labs. But what really caught my attention was acquired a tool called Autonom IQ Platform, which is a scriptless test automation solution that leverages AI machine learning capabilities to help users quickly and easily create and execute tests for modern low-code applications. So it just looks like a push to help uh, Sauce Labs promote more of this uh, usage of their platform, Autonom IQ. So I actually didn't know that Sauce Labs had that feature. So that's one piece of news I thought you should know about. Sauce Lab is also getting behind codeless automation as well. I also have been hearing more and more automation engineers I interview on my podcast talking about GitHub and specifically GitHub Actions, how it's helping them automate a lot of the things in their software pipelines. So the latest article I came across was automating a software company using just GitHub Actions. And it's a really good article that goes into detail on how to break down actions, what are actions, how to use actions for unit testing, and how to incorporate them into your continuous testing pipelines. And also it has a section on end-to-end testing as well. So I think GitHub Actions is a trend I see more and more of, so you should probably know more about it and definitely check out that article to take a hands-on approach to actually trying it for yourself. Another news item that caught my attention this week is that Postman is now valued at $5.6 billion, billion. So they just announced a series of defunding where they got $225 million, which values the company at $5.6 billion. And this article goes into why they think automation testing is so important especially as we go into more of an API-first world where with microservices and Internet of Things all working with APIs behind the scenes. And they have a really cool comic book that they actually released to go along with this announcement as well, which I'll have in the show notes. Speaking of making billions and millions of dollars, I actually came across another article where a Japanese software testing engineer became a millionaire after an acquisition by Spree. So thank you, Connor Fitzgerald, for sharing this. It actually was an article in Forbes. And it talks about how the president and CEO of Tokyo-based Shift has joined the rank of the world's billionaires after sharing his software testing company surge 88% over the past year. And this is all due because they offer software testing services. So it seems like it's a good time to be a tester. There's lots of money here, as you you could see, by Postman getting all that funding and all these other companies getting acquired, and this recent article in Forbes. I think this article in Forbes actually adds to this as well. Also, speaking of Postman and API testing, I came across another tool that just made some of their functionality free to use. So I just noticed my friend Matt, the CEO of Bozang, he's actually been on my show, my automation podcast show a few times. Uh, Bozang, if you don't know, is a browser-based test automation platform. They recently decided to make their API testing feature free. And there's a link to the article on how API testing is available to you in Bozang, how to use it, how to get started, all the types of things you need to know to be successful with this tool with API testing. And as you know, I'm obsessed with automation tools, so definitely give it a try and let me know what you think. And also this week, I'll be helping Apply Tools moderate a roundtable discussion with a bunch of awesome quality engineer leaders talking about covering all your questions around quality leadership in this fast-paced environment we all find ourselves in. So definitely check that out in the link down below. And last in automation testing news, I came across an article on books, some of the top books for quality professionals. If you don't know, as you can't tell by the background, I am a bibliomaniac. So of course, this caught my attention. It comes to you via Kristen Weedman. If you don't know Kristen, definitely check her out. She's one another thought leader in testing. But this is from a blog post by Blake Norris, where he asked 200 quality professionals for suggestions of their list of their best or favorite books. And speaking of books, this brings us to our performance and cyber liability segment. Another book I think will be on this list fairly quickly once it's released is Leandro Melendez just announced releasing of his new book on the Hitchhiker's Guide to Load Testing Projects. Right now, it's actually available for pre-order on Amazon, so definitely check it out. This is the book I wish I had when I get started with software testing, especially with performance testing. So if you ever want to learn about 
How to Learn and Understand and Deliver Load Testing Projects. This is the book for you. Leandro walks you step-by-step on how to accomplish a successful load testing project. And I also interviewed Leandro recently on this book that I'll be releasing this Tuesday on my Performance Testing and Cyber Liability podcast, where we dive deep into all the chapters of this book and why you should get it. Definitely check that out as well. One aspect I think testers really miss out on when they're doing testing is when they're doing exploratory testing, not focusing in on other types of testing like performance testing. And that's why I'm really excited to release a new free masterclass at Test Guild on performance exploration for testers with the famous Mark Tomlinson. So you probably have heard about exploratory testing for functional testing, but what about performance? In this masterclass, the Perf Sherpa Mark Tomlinson himself is going to guide you through all the aspects of what makes up performance exploration. So you're going to learn how to troubleshoot why your application is slow and find bottlenecks and fix root causes of problems and much, much more. Mark Tomlinson does an awesome breakdown of all these techniques using a whiteboard style sessions. So you definitely want to head on over to testskill.com and grab that master course for free. And I don't know if I'm just a weirdo. I'm always looking to see what skills I should be focusing in on. Even though I work now full-time for myself, I'm always just trying to see if for some reason my business ever bombs and I need to actually stop working again, I'll have the skills needed to be able to get me a new position. And one of those positions that's really hot is site reliability engineering. So I always look for different companies to see what their different requirements are for for positions that they've currently posted. I noticed one by TikTok for a software engineer in site reliability and infrastructure. I think it's a really good thing that you should do every now and then is just go through, even if you're not looking, go through job descriptions and see what type of responsibilities and requisites, prerequisites different companies are looking for. So you can see here they're looking for experience in configuration management, infrastructure provisioning, you chef, puppet, Ansible, and experience knowledge on storage concepts, network concepts, and database concepts. And another position I noticed was from Apple, where they have a position for a manager for performance and site reliability, which is a trend I've been seeing, site reliability being lumped in with performance as well. And that's why I created the Test Guild Performance Site Reliability podcast. So if you look at the position here, it goes into different skills and qualifications needed for this position as well. So it looks like Python, Java, different tool sets for SRE. And the person should have skills both in scaling and load testing, performance tuning, automation tooling, reporting, communication, et cetera. And I found looking at probably quarterly different job descriptions every year to make sure I'm staying up to speed on the latest and greatest in the type of skills that big companies around the world are looking for. Hopefully you found that tip helpful. And last up is our security testing segment. And coming full circle, once again, this has to do with GitHub. GitHub just announced introduction of all-star GitHub app. So this helps you to automate continuous enforcement of security best practices for GitHub projects with their new announcement for the GitHub app, All-Star. So it's a companion to their security scorecards, which is an automated tool that assess risk to repositories and its dependencies. And it gives you continuous automated enforcement. And hosting multiple security testing podcasts on my Test Guild Security Podcast, I found out that one of the biggest vulnerabilities to most software nowadays is due to open source vulnerabilities that people are consuming within their projects from a lot of these open source projects. So using this tool will definitely help them hopefully eradicate those type of issues with their software when they release it to their customers. You can also learn more about some of the top security vulnerabilities having to do with open source projects from my interview with Jeffrey Martin on on how developers are taking over application security and different trends in areas where you can help enforce security within your company's application software development lifecycle. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. If you have any news items you'd like me to share in future episodes, all you need to do is drop me a line at news at testguild.com. So once again, I'm Joe, and my mission is to help you succeed with creating end-to-end full-stack automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.